Hello everyone, my name is Rauful Ajam. Welcome to the next tutorial of Python. So today we are going to study a very important package Panda that is Panel Data. Panda is also known as Panel Data. It is available in Python package. Okay. So Panda is nothing but it is used for data manipulation and analysis. Basically Panda is used for manipulation and analysis. So to work with Panda, first of all, we need to import the Pandas that is import Pandas as PD. Like how we have imported the numpy package that import numpy as np similarly we need to import pandas as pd so we have imported now the next thing is coming to the series so the first thing we are going to study is series so what exactly this series is so series is nothing but it's a one dimensional label array capable of holding any data type okay so say if you want to create a series we'll just write any variable as data pd dot this is the panda pd dot series okay and then whatever the data type you want to pass you can pass with this array and if you create so say it is going to print a one dimension label data type say this is only the index value it has 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 it does not have any column value it has only the index value so that is nothing but one dimension label array so this it will do okay suppose if i want to retrieve the data from this series so what i can do if I want to, uh, we need to pass the index value here. So if I want to retrieve this ABC, so I'll pass the index of this, that is S data of 5. So it will print this ABC. If I want to retrieve this 34, I'll pass the index value, that is 2. So it will print that. Okay. Now, coming to the next. Suppose, uh, that is the 0, 1, 2, 3. It's automatically it is giving. That is the by default, it is creating this index value, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But if I want to give my own index values, so I can give just index is equal to row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5. So because there are four, 5 data, 2, 4, 5. So I have given the four, 5 names of index. So if I print this, so now it will give me that index as a row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5. So this we can write it, okay, just by writing index is equal to this. It's simple. Suppose now if I want to retrieve the data, this 42 or any value. So I should give this index value that is row 1, row 2, row 3. So if I want to retrieve this 3, I'll just pass row 5 that is index value. It will give me 3. If I want to retrieve 3, this row 1 value, I'll just pass the index value row 1. So it will give me that. But if I want to, if I want to get row 1 value also, row 3 value also and row 5 value also then we can just pass together in a one array so row 1 row 2 row 3 if we pass this so it will give us this all the values okay so this is the thing now suppose again here yeah, if i'll create the pd dot series i can give the name as whatever i want the index index name and then if i want to retrieve r2 and r5 so what i'm expecting i'm expecting it to print this 5 and R5 means 7. So I'm expecting it to print 5 and 7. So it will print 5 and 7. See, it is printing 5 and 7. Fine. And if I'll check the S data, it will print all the values. That is R1 is this, 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 and that. Fine. Similarly, same thing it will come over here. Now suppose if I want to find, that is the one way. Like we can write R2, R2 anywhere. But if I want to retrieve the data, like this like from starting from always the index starts from zero so starting from first index and go till some five index so if i want to retrieve that so it will give that value like if starting from first index and it will go till fourth index because the fifth this is not included the five will be not included only till fourth index it will print so it is printing that value now suppose if i want to pass pt dot series and inside like np dot arrange so we already studied np dot arrange so to do np dot arrange first we need to import the numpy package so we have imported the numpy package now if first we know already what np dot arrange is going to do it is just going to arrange the values 0 to 5 0 to 4 right and if you are going to give this in a series so what it will do it will print c 0 1 2 3 4 5 and it is giving the index value if i want to change the index value i'll just write s2 dot index separately also we can write this series 2 dot index and if you give the index value now if you print it will give us r1 is this r2 is this 3 so the index value has been changed okay 
so there are both way to write either you can write like this also h2 dot index or either you can go by this also just writing in the while creating the series itself we can uh, give the index value okay so that is the thing or even we can write like this instead of writing the two lines we can directly run pd dot series np dot arrange means arrange the numbers from 0 to 4 and then give the index value or this and print as a series so if you do it will print this all the values okay fine so this is about series so now coming to the data frame okay so what exactly is data frame so data frame is nothing but it is a two dimensional label data structure with column of potentially different types it means it is a two dimensional the series is nothing but it is just one dimensional label data but the uh, data frame is two dimensional label data and the columns can be of different different types like column can be anything any data type it does not have any problem okay so see if i am going to give pd so again pandas we are going to use the panda itself pd dot data frame pd dot data frame and what i am doing i am passing this two three four one row and again five five three second and this is the third rate so this so if i print this say what is going to give it will be going to give the index value also 0 1 2 and it is going to give the column value also so that is the thing and this 2 3 4 will be written as first row this value will be written in second row and this value will be written in third row okay suppose if i want to change the column name of this because instead of 0 1 2 i want to give something else that is number of apples number of banana number of cherry so just i will write df one dot column so if i write df one dot column what it will do it will change the column name if i want to change the row name also just df1 dot index so if i write df1 dot index it is going to change the index value also so that is the thing now suppose if you want to create a data frame okay and this already we know that is np dot arrange np dot arrange what it is going to do np dot random dot rand in so it means from 0 to 100 or between 0 to 100 give me 100 numbers and then reshape it in 10 row and 10 column okay and then after reshaping we are asking it to give the rows name and column also like right? uh, print the index or you can say two dimensional label data we are asking in the form of data frame so it will give the label uh, label of index also and the label of columns also so see if i am going to print it is giving 0 1 2 3 4 8 9 and in the row also it is going to give 0 1 2 3 till 8 9 and all the values you can check it it will be between 0 to 100 all the numbers because it's np dot random dot rand is nothing but going to create the numbers between 0 to 100 and totally 100 numbers we need so it will create the 100 number okay now if i want to change the name of this row or name of this index so what i can do i can simply write the uh, df dot index index value and i can write like this also that is np dot random dot rand it give the values from 10 to 20 and between 10 to 20 and give the 10 numbers and that 10 numbers assign as an index for this particular df2 data frame so it will assign say you can check it here it what it is doing it is assigning the index value between all the numbers from 10 to 20 so this is the thing okay so this is the data frame now okay fine so now coming to the importing data so suppose if i want to import the data set so what we need to do we need to just write import panda pd so this we have already written at the top itself so no need to write again now if i want to read the csv file mainly the data are available in csv file itself so i'll just write pd dot read csv and the name of the particular file okay so before that i just want to say something that is suppose how we can do that so we will just check the what is the, in which directory we are present so suppose i am present in c users rofulasm python for data science okay so now we can download the data set from where i'll show you the directory that is you can go here uci machine yeah this is uci machine learning repository there are various number of data sets available here something 559 data set and you can even download the data set from kaggle okay so just download the data set from here you can go here and the data set is the data set folder you can just download the data set from here okay now after downloading the data set what we need to do you just check it where your data is available so obviously it will be in your file 
somewhere in download files. So suppose I have that uh, HP data set. So just take that data set. Suppose this order data set. Okay. So this I have, I have downloaded. It. So what I can do, I'll just cut from here and I'll paste it to my directory. So where was my directory? That is nothing but C users, Rockulazam and Python for data science. So I can paste there. So that is nothing but I'll go to C, I'll go to user and thus then Python for data science and I'll paste here. Okay. So now the data set orders is available here. So now if I want to read this order data set, so what I can do, I'll just write over here order. It was orders or order. Orders. Yeah. So I can write orders dot csv so now it is going to give me that particular data set so see this is the order data set which it is, which it is giving to us okay so that is the thing how we can read this csv file so just write order dot csv and the name of the file you'll uh, able to read the file if you want to read the excel file just write read excel and then give the file name uh, with that extensor you will be able to read the excel file also now i'll print the file also df so suppose if i want to see my data set so see this is my data set okay so actually the data set is too large so it will say something 994 rows and 21 columns is there in particular data set so what i can do if i want to show only five rows sorry yeah only five rows so i can write df dot head so if i write df dot head it is going to give me only five rows see only five rows is going to go. we can even uh uh, make it uh, how many rows we want suppose I want only two rows I'll write just two so it will give me the two row if I want some more than row like six rows or more number of rows I'll write six so it is going to give me the six rows okay so this is the head now if I want what this tail is going to do this is going to show the last values like last five rows so see total rows was present was something uh, it's 993 right so it is going to give us the last five rows so it is giving the last five rows again same here if you want to check only last two you can just write last two so it will give you the last two rows okay so that is the thing so this is the head tell now if i want to check the shape like what is the shape of my particular data set i'll just write df dot shape so then it is going to give me the shape of this particular data set that is triple nine four and twenty one so this is the shape of my particular data set now coming to the describe so if i want to describe my data set so what this describe will do it is going to describe my whole things each and everything that is what is the count of and it is only going to describe the numerical data set i hope uh, you all know what is numerical data set but anyhow we are going to cover all the numerical data set categorical data set each and everything in statistics part when i'm going to start after python we are going to learn the statistics part so basically for the timing i can say just numerical data sets are nothing much it has all the integers well like integers value you can say okay so all the integers well uh, it has fractions well also all the integers and fractions or real numbers you can say all the real numbers so that is the thing okay so for that all the value it is going to give what is the count for a square feet for year old for floor for total floor bhk for price what is the count what is the mean each and everything it is going to say it is going to print us okay and if i want to check data set info so what i can do i can just write df dot info so it is going to give me the info okay sorry oh, oh, oh. Df .info. Okay. so it is going to give me the info so what this info will do it will describe each and every row like row one what is the type of that whether none non null like this all the values are not null there is no null present and what is the type whether it is integer or whether it's object so these objects are nothing but categorical data set and that numerical numerical data set basically written in integer or float okay so that is the thing now coming to the next thing that is i lock this lock we are going to study in the next class i lock so the data set just now we have studied this is our data set right so now what i lock is going to do suppose i want to extract only this two rows or three rows okay 
the particular number of rows like from here to here we can also do that by using head but by using head we cannot just uh, limit this columns okay so for that purpose we are going for i log so in i log what we can do we can suppose i want only this first row and only like particular three columns and five rows so we can do this by using the i log operation okay so see suppose i want df dot i log that is start from fourth index and print till 10 because it is not going to include 11 so it is starting from 4 say if you are going to use head it will directly give you from 0 it won't give you from 4 and anywhere okay so this i log if you want to check only from 4 row to 10th row so you can just give 4 to 10 so it is going to give you this suppose i want to check 4 to 11 but i want to print till 2th to a index that is three num three columns or columns so it will give you the three columns that is starting from four going till ten and it is going giving you the first row id first column second column and third column that is zero index second index third uh, sorry zero first and second index so this is going to be okay similarly if i want to print and if i write 18 column it means after 18 row give me all the rows Six column it means after six index sorry from six index give me each and everything so it is going to give you from 18 it will give you each and every columns sorry each and every row and from after six it is going to give you all the columns so see this is my six column customer name you can check it here see uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 customer name. so from customer name it is printing okay so that's all about today we are going to study the remaining part in the next class if you have any doubt you can comment down below i'll be happy to answer and please like share and subscribe this channel thank you